Hi guys, welcome to a new YouTube video on my YouTube channel. Um, today it's going to be about uh, my new spindle I got. As you already may have noticed in the thumbnail. Um, I don't want to talk much about it right now um, because I actually wanted to do an unboxing but I, I really was that excited that I totally forgot to turn on the camera. Um, but I will roll a clip uh, from yesterday or from yeah from yesterday where I uh, show how you mount the spindle and what are what specs of the spindle are and also I'm going to take you guys right now to the electronic side of things um, because there was some more stuff involved and uh, yeah I will show you this right now. Okay guys so here's the little reveal um, of the nice thing I today received. Um, I actually wanted to do uh, an actual unboxing but I I really couldn't stand um, couldn't stand uh, the excitement uh, because this really is a really exciting one for me in person so here you are it's a new uh, this actually is uh, a prototype uh, from Spinergy it's the X22 it's a 2.2 kilowatt um, manual tool change uh, spindle it has ER25 uh, tool head and also it is um, air cooled for now um, yeah it's pretty beefy pretty heavy but also pretty compact uh, in terms of size and power fitment um, yeah it's I'm just going now uh, over the basics of the spindle. Uh, as I already told you, 2.2 kilowatt, air-cooled, um, ER25. And what's really nice about this spindle design is that you can mount it from the back uh, via those screw holes. Uh, and you also can mount it from the, f from, from the front uh, through those holes. Um, it's actually a keyhole where you uh, put it onto the bolts and then slide it down and then tighten up the bolts from the front. Um, yeah, but I, I will show you this uh, at a later point and uh, yeah, all over, although it's a prototype, it's a really, really nice finish. I really like the, uh, the bare aluminum look. Also, the connectors are all industrial standards yeah, it's pretty nice design and also a pretty nice spindle um, I also received the VFD it's a 2.2 kilowatt um, Omron uh, VFD uh, the brake resistor EMI filters and a 24 volts um, DC power supply and also some uh, ER25 collets from uh, Regal fix and also this nut uh, for for the collets. So yeah, I I already hooked everything up and tested it out a bit, um, but I will show you guys the setup on a later point. But for now, I'm going to show you guys how you can mount the spindle. This is my actual Z-axis. I hope you can see it. You basically have to line up those keyholes. As you can see here, I already put in those bolts. It's uh, actually M6 to line it up, slide it down, and now you can tighten those bolts from the front. Really nice and quick easy setup <laughs> now it's done basically uh, yeah this truly is awesome and I really can't wait to make some chips with uh, with this nice spindle um, they also offer uh, ATC versions of it 2.2 kilowatt 
it's capable of 45,000 RPM, so pretty high RPM for a 2.2 kilowatt spindle. But uh, yeah, you will see those chips fly very, very soon. <laughs> and now I want you, or now I want to show you uh, the electronic side of things, uh, how I hooked it all up. And uh, yeah, then I'm going to put my Z axis back on the CNC and maybe make some shifts tonight. <laughs> So here are the electronics, um, as you can see, here's the 2.2 kilowatt Omron uh, VFD. This is the small brake resistor for the spindle, um, EMI filter and a 24 volt DC power supply. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. it. Took me some time to figure out how to wire it. Uh, I also got some help from Mark from Spinergy and with his help it really was no problem at all to figure it all out. Uh, those cables here are also connected to the spindle. They are for monitoring uh, the um, temperatures of the bearing or uh, also for uh, the windings or there's a sensor nearby the windings from the motor so you can monitor those temperatures. Um, there are also cables for uh, the ATC version uh, of the spindle where you can um, check the, the status of the ATC if it's um, inserted correctly, if the tool is inserted correctly or ejected correctly. Also there's an RPM sensor and uh, those two cables here, they are basically in this cable where all the power to the spindle goes. Uh, those two are for the fan. Um, I hooked it up right now so I can uh, control the fan via uh, a, a button in the software to turn it on and off. There's certainly a way to automate this, but yeah. Um, also, this is only a mock-up. Uh, there will be the electronics enclosure from Spinergy um, because this is only the prototype spindle, so they only sent me those single components. Um, because they still have to wait on, on the uh, spindle enclosure or spindle electronics enclosure. They're not finished yet, but this is actually the place where the small unit will go. And that's basically it for the wiring. Looks pretty um, yeah, rough, <laughs> I'd say, but it's just a mock-up and it works. So I, I really now just focused on um, on the main things like uh, spindle on off and RPM. So I really didn't bother to hook all those right now up. Uh, so yeah, but it works and I will show you guys in the next clip. So here she is on my machine, on my Z axis. And as you can see, also the connectors that they um, that they use are pretty heavy duty and industrial standard um, pretty nice connectors uh, connectors actually uh, let me get it back on right now um, the main spindle is actually only this portion of the whole design or body and I think it's pretty amazing how they fit um, those 2.2 kilowatts in this small size. This really is impressive. Um, also there's a big fan on top, which I, as I mentioned, programmed uh, or connected up to, to my eating CNC controller and turned it on and off via the software. Let me show you this. Oh, just like this. So as you can see, it's already pushing so much air that my table underneath the spindle really gets cleaned up. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really a lot of air uh, that gets pushed through the spindle. Also, it's a bit noisy, but that's actually no problem because uh, the actual cutting sounds are way louder than just a fan. Uh, yeah, 
and also mounting was just the breeze just put the bolts into the z-axis and then just tighten them up from the front and yeah it's basically <laughs> it's really such a simple setup and yeah they really solved it so nice also what i really like about this design is that the spindle gets actually um a stiffening part of the z-axis because you really have so much surface area that contacts uh, directly to the z-axis this really beefens up uh, the z-axis a lot um, so you will expect uh, less flex and deformation uh, while cutting um, i now will put on my vise on the table and then i will show you guys some aluminum cutting just some basic test cuts uh, yeah and then we will see what we get so what you can see now is uh, a 10 millimeter three flute end mill um, i'm going to take some cuts with it uh, the spindle will be turning at 17,500 rpms and the feed rate will be 3000 millimeters a minute um, First of all, I'm going to take a side cut of two millimeters width and then I will increase it. Also, depth of cut is 10 millimeters. So let's see what happens. This is just awesome. Now let me take a skin cut. Just to clean it up. But wow guys, there's almost this mirror finish. So yeah, as you can see, it's pretty amazing um, what power this spindle already has um, and it's only a prototype, guys. But look at those chips. Can you see them? Really nice chips. And the surface finish is really smooth. So yeah. That's a short little review of the spindle and um, you guys will, ex or will see some more videos of it in the future. So yeah guys, um, that's basically my first video of the X22 Spindle G Spindle and uh, I'm pretty impressed uh, how it performs. Um, okay, I know it really was pretty conservative uh, the feed rates and, um, and the speeds but I think my personal opinion is 
that 4 meters a minute feed rate and 3 millimeter width of cut and 10 millimeter depth of cut at 17,500 rpm really is impressive and there's a lot more room for more uh, for higher speeds and feeds and more um, more depth of cuts and yeah I know my current setup isn't that ideal because the vice is really high uh, barely fits under my gantry but I just wanted to have um, a secure way to to hold my aluminum stock to machine it or to take those test cuts and as you as you heard it it really had no chatter at all um, I'm pretty impressed by the spindle also the spindle runs so butter smooth it's just incredible guys and yeah I, <laughs> I really don't know what to say because the form factor of the spindle is so small and they put so many power in it is yeah it's, it's it's just amazing <laughs> so stay tuned for more guys about the spindle um, also next week I'm going to release uh, another video because there's a big project uh, coming up and I want to share this also with you so stay tuned for more it's going to be an awesome time guys thank you for watching